Hi, good evening to you, Sarah and Brent. You said it, Sarah. This is the first time that early voters, or rather voters here in Connecticut, could take advantage of that early voting for a general election. And hundreds of thousands of people, we're learning tonight, did just that. New numbers into our newsroom tonight telling us that more than 740,000 people did take advantage of that early voting here in our Connecticut, casting their ballots early during that two-week period before the election. And a few towns and cities like Norwalk, West Hartford and Stamford each saw more than 17,000 early voters. Now, during that time, Connecticut Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas says there were a few issues, including a case in North Stonington, where around 1,100 voters were impacted due to what she says was a human error. This after a misunderstanding about missing signatures on the envelopes of ballots. Those voters, she says, have since been contacted and as of Sunday, Sunday night, around 900 of them have either cast their ballot again or said they'd come back today and vote. However, on this election day, Thomas says there's been no major issues to note so far other than minor mishaps with our more than two decade old tabulators across the state. But she says that is to be expected and those issues are always fixed right away and those votes are properly counted. Every tabulator has an auxiliary bin that is also secure, so voters can put their ballots into that bin, and then at the end of the night, they're retrieved and run through the tabulator by the election officials. Now, the state did get funding to buy brand new tabulators. Right now, nine cities and towns are actually piloting that equipment during this election. Next year, Thomas says they will be available to every municipality. Now, back out here live, many people may be wondering, when will we know those final results of this election? A lot of us waiting anxiously for those. However, it is going to take quite some time. We will tell you about Connecticut's process coming up in the 6 o'clock clock hour. For now, though, we are live here in Hartford outside the Capitol. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.